Hey guys, it's Van Hurt Dogs, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make some crafts for your sleigh dogs. First up, a squeaky toy. You're going to be needing one long bead and two short beads. Then you're going to be taking the long bead, putting some glue on the end, and sticking it onto one of the short beads. Then you're going to take the other short bead, stick some glue on it, and put it on the end of the toy. And there you have it, a sleigh dog toy. Pretty easy. Next up is a collar. This is a little more involved. You're going to be needing a necklace clasp, a split ring or a jump ring, and a piece of ribbon. Make sure you have a dog to measure the length. Then you're going to be putting the ring on the end of the ribbon, gluing it. Then you're going to be taking the necklace clasp, slipping it onto the other side of the ribbon, and gluing it in place. There you have it, a simple collar for your sleigh dog. Next up is a water or food dish. This is pretty easy. All you need is a water bottle, take the cap off, and paint it to whatever color you want. You're gonna need something to put into that food bowl, and brown lentils make a great kibble. You can find these at grocery stores where they sell things like beans and rice. Next up, we're going to be making agility poles. These are probably the hardest thing on the list, but still really easy. You're going to need three drink straws, a permanent marker, three jumbo popsicle sticks, and you're going to be cutting one of them in half and then cut the ends off of it. Then you're going to be gluing one of the long ones and sticking another one on top of it so it makes a pretty long base for you to put the poles on. Then you're going to be taking the cut in half one, put glue on it, and glue it to the base of the long stick thing. Then you're going to be doing the same with the other end. This makes it stable so it doesn't fall over. Next up, you're going to cut your straws in half and make sure they are even. And then you're going to glue them onto the base. Then you can color it with some marker, add some stripes, and there you go. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this super simple tutorial, and I will see you in the next video.